Coach, a rough end of the weekend, a tough loss against Drexel, but the second half fight your team showed today has to be a positive going into next week. You know, we really uh, played hard, harder, hard. We left it out here. I mean, I'm so proud of the way that we came back after halftime and made some adjustments. And, you know, even from the beginning of the game, we just couldn't get into a rhythm and had a slow start, got sluggish. Um, they were trying too hard, but we outplayed them second half. Um, you know, we had more possessions. Um, we turned them over. We capitalized on the turnovers. We were scoring. Um, we were sharing the ball. We were making great team plays. And defensively, I thought it was one of our best uh, performances in the second half all year. So I can't say enough about the toughest that we showed second half. Um, they were, we were forcing timeouts. And um, five more minutes on the clock, you never know what can happen. You fall behind by 22 at the break. And you yeah. come out and have a really good third quarter. What was the message to the team at the intermission? You know, composure. Honestly, I think that, you know, I had to tell them to take a deep breath. And, you know, we made some adjustments and some changes and went bigger lineup. Um, but again, I just said, you know, we got to be more aggressive on the shooters. We got to get out defensively and get after it um, and take pride in, in the defensive end. And I thought that that was, that was the key. I mean, you, you, we got really into the passing lanes and we're more aggressive. And, you know, we're like that. We're hard to beat. And, you know, we just ran out of time, you know, and you can't dig a deep hole like that at Drexel against a very tough team. Um, and I was just saying that after the game. I mean, you, you just can't do something like that. We almost pulled off a, a miracle. I mean, really cut it to six points. Um, you know, and then two seconds left on the shot clock, they, they had an isolation with, with one of our guards, and um, she made a tough play. She made a tough basket. So, you know, give them credit for making some tough shots, but man, we had them rattled. Gigi Smith gives you 17 points. Yeah. A little bit of inside, outside game. Talk yeah. about her performance. You know what? She really has played uh, really well the last couple games. Um, I felt like she was tough and, and she was a really good leader out here, um, just giving her teammates energy and keeping them positive. Whenever you dig a hole like that, all you can do is just have one play at a time and try to stay together. And I felt like we just tried to stay together and not look at the clock or the score and it helped us get back in the game. We chipped away, we chipped away. They were forcing, they are calling timeouts. I mean, we were right there. So I can't say enough about her leadership and what she did. Ashley June oh, gave man. you seven points in that second half and really, Unbelievable. really started to, to show some minutes. Well, you know, yesterday in practice, I thought it was it was a really good competitive practice prior to this game. Even though we only had one day, I made it really competitive, and she really stood out to me in practice. And I told her today was going to be her day before the game because the way she played. I said, just focus on the defense side, and the offense will come. And I think that she really did a good job the first half defensively, and I knew it was going to be time where she was going to knock down some shots and take some pressure away from Sharita and Gigi and everybody else. And I can't say enough about what she did today. I mean, she really played great on both ends of the floor. Unfortunately, back-to-back -back losses for the first time in league play, but you get to go home now and play four straight at, at Tres Coliseum. How important is having that home stand as you try and right the ship? Well, you know what? We're so excited about what we've accomplished this year in this program. We know that this is a tough conference, so for us to be able to go back at home is going to be exciting for us. You know, we love playing at home. I know we're 8-0, but again, it doesn't matter at this point. We just want to bring the energy back at home and, and play this kind of basketball we played second half. And we were just talking about this year, we've already tied the amount of wins um, from last year. And so for us, we're already in January. We want to continue to build this program and keep building it to another level. So can't say enough about today's toughness, the second half. I wish we could have put two halves together, and that's the learning part of it. But I am so eager and excited to get back home and play in front of our passionate fans and keep, you know, building this program. Coach, thanks for the time. We'll chat with you again at the end of the week. Thanks, Eric.